हेलो स्टूडेंट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट अवर दिस ट्यूटोरियल सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल हैव इंट्रोडक्शन टू द न्यू यूनिट द नेम ऑफ दिस यूनिट इज सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट सो लेट अस डिस्कस और लेट अस लिस्ट आउट द टॉपिक्स और द यू कैन से थियरी और कंसेप्ट्स व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न थ्रू आउट दिस यूनिट ओके सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन of cpu means here we will try to see different type of organization for example uh, uh, till now we have discuss uh, single accumulator then here we will discuss uh, general register organization then we will discuss stack based organization so we will start with the various type of organization in cpu yes after discussing it uh, we will uh, discuss the instruction formats yes so in instruction format we will try to discuss that how many types of ins instructions are there uh, based on the uh, you can say number of addressing mode like uh, zero address one address two address and three address instruction so we will discuss uh, instruction format after instruction format we will start our discussion with addressing modes so till now we have discuss only uh, two type of addressing mode direct and indirect so here we will discuss uh, many types of addressing mode like uh, immediate if implied then auto increment auto decrement relative address mode register direct register indirect so we will see uh, various type of addressing modes then we will have uh, discussion on data transfer and data manipulation instruction data transfer and data manipulation and uh, next will be the program control instruction yes after that we will start uh, our discussion or we will discuss risk and sys and after discussing risk and sysc we will discuss overlap register window yes clear with this okay so uh, let's have an introduction that uh, Uh, what is a cpu organization and uh, uh, how we will start so uh, till now uh, we have discussed uh, various element so here uh, let me uh, try to uh, show you the major component of cpu so if we try to consider or if we uh, try to draw a simple block diagram of cpu okay then uh, there will be three unit like uh, first will be the control unit next will be the register set next will be the arithmetic logic shift unit clear now control unit will provide the control signal for register set as well as for arithmetic logic shift unit while arithmetic logic shift unit will store data into register set as well as it will retrieve the data from the register set 
so uh, this is the uh, normal uh, computer organization which we have discussed so uh, here there is a terminology known as uh, uh, computer architecture okay so let me write down the uh, simple definition for computer architecture yes so what is computer architecture it is a uh, computer structure and behavior as seen by the programmer that use the machine language instruction yes so computer architecture can be uh, defined as a uh, computer structure and behavior is seen by the programmer that uses machine language instruction clear so uh, this was the inter introduction so uh, now in next video we will discuss what is uh, oh, computer organization and uh, which are the various organizations of CPU are there. Okay, so we'll uh, try to discuss, we already discussed the uh, single register or single accumulator, uh, single accumulator organization, there will be a one accumulator and rest of the register, I mean special purpose register. While uh, in next video, we will discuss what is general register organization and then we will uh, discuss stack based organization and then onwards we will continue with the uh, discussion of instruction format, then addressing mode, then data transfer, data manipulation and program control instruction, then disk and sysc and at last overlap register window. Yes, so uh, in this tutorial or in introduction, we will keep up to this. Uh, more we will discuss in next video. Thank you.